In this Easy Ed video lecture, we will learn about microprocessors and microcontrollers, wherein we will learn different fabrication techniques as small scale integration, medium scale integration, large scale integration, and very large scale integration. Also, we will learn block diagram of microprocessors and block diagram of microcontrollers. Let us start with the introduction of ICs first. A cell phone is a device made up of different circuits. Suppose we want to connect 10 transistors to design a part of a circuit of a mobile, but if we consume so much of space just for one circuit of a cell phone, then just imagine what the size of a mobile phone would be. The best solution to this would be to decrease the size of all the circuits and fit them in a small rectangular device which we call as a chip. These chips are commonly known as ICs. ICs have completely revolutionized the electronics world. Previously, we used landlines. Then, we moved on to pagers. Next, we invented mobile phones with antennas. And nowadays, we use compact size cell phones. All this was possible because of these ICs which are of the size of a fingernail. Let's see the concept of IC fabrication. ICs are nothing but a bunch of logic gates and transistors connected together. The method by which ICs are manufactured is called as fabrication. Based on the number of transistors and gates used, ICs are categorized into four basic types as small scale integration, SSI, Medium scale integration MSI, large scale integration LSI, and very large scale integration VLSI. Hey, it's time to concentrate now. First type is small scale integration. Small scale integrated IC has 1 to 12 transistors on chip. Logic gates, flip flops, op amps are examples of small scale integrated ICs. Second type is medium scale integration. In case of medium scale integration, an IC or a chip has 13 to 99 transistors. Counter, MUX, adder circuits have medium scale integrated ICs. Third type is large scale integration. In case of large scale integration, a single IC has 100 to 999 number of transistors mounted on it. 8 bit microprocessors. ROM, RAM are examples of such ICs. Fourth, and the last type is very large scale integration, VLSI. In this type of integration, the number of transistors or gates on a single chip is very large. VLSI fabricated IC has 1000 to 9,099,999 transistors mounted on a single chip. 16 to 32 bit microprocessors, peripherals, etc. are examples of VLSI circuits. Before starting with the microprocessors and controllers, first we will see what digital computers are. A computer that performs calculations and logical operations with quantities represented as digits, usually in the binary number system, is called as digital computer. Different blocks of digital computer are central processing unit or CPU, clock, memory, input-output devices, etc. Let's see first block CPU. It acts as a heart of a digital computer. As per its name, it carries out all the decision making and computations. It is also called as microprocessor. A microprocessor is an electronic device that consists of ALU, arithmetic logic unit number of registers and counters which we will see later. Next block is clock. It is a square wave signal having fixed frequency which coordinates all the operations of CPU. When we say the processor is of 2 GHz, we actually determine the frequency of that processor. Next block is memory. All the computations of a CPU depend on different set of instructions. These instructions tell CPU what to do and when to do it. 
the part of computer where these programs are stored is called as memory. The last block is input and output devices. Input and output devices together are called as I.O. devices. CPU communicates through outside world using these devices. Few examples of these devices are Input devices, keyboard, mouse, etc. Output devices, printer, monitor, etc. Seriously, pay attention. This is important. Let's move forward to learn about microprocessors. Microprocessor is an integrated circuit which performs all functions of a central processing unit of a computer. It is sometimes abbreviated as MUP. Microprocessor consists of few blocks as shown. First block is arithmetic logic unit, abbreviated as ALU. It performs arithmetic operations such as addition, subtraction, and logical AND or inversion, XOR, etc. Next block is register array. A register is nothing but a temporary memory location which stores a data to be processed and the processed data. Number of registers varies from processor to processor. The last block is control unit. This unit produces all the necessary timing and control signals for all the operations. It controls exchange of data between the microprocessor and memory and I.O. devices. The different applications of microprocessors are CPU of computers, traffic control signals, industrial applications like washing machines, mobile phones, etc. Let's study microcontrollers now. A microcontroller, sometimes abbreviated MUC, is a small computer on a single integrated circuit containing a processor core, memory, I.O. device, etc. The block diagram of a microcontroller as shown below with different blocks as microprocessor, memory, I.O. devices and peripheral devices. A peripheral device means an auxiliary device such as a printer, modem or a storage system that works in conjunction with a computer. For microcontroller, we have few peripheral devices like analog to digital converter, timer, serial I.O. devices, etc. Advantages of microcontroller are It has inbuilt timer, I.O. ports are available, separate memory to store program and data, many multifunction pins on IC. Let's have a quick review of what we've learned. ICs are nothing but a bunch of logic gates and transistors connected together. The method by which IC are manufactured is called fabrication. We learned four methods of fabrication as SSI 1 to 12 transistors on chip, MSI having 13 to 99 transistors, LSI having 100 to 999 transistors, and VLSI having 1000 to 9,099,999 transistors. A computer that performs calculations and logical operations with quantities represented as digits, usually in the binary number system, is called as digital computer. Different blocks of digital computer are central processing unit or CPU, clock, memory, input output devices, etc. Microprocessor is an integrated circuit which performs all the functions of a central processing unit of a computer. It is sometimes abbreviated as MUP. Different blocks of microprocessors are Arithmetic logic unit Register array and Control unit A microcontroller sometimes abbreviated MUC is a small computer on a single integrated circuit. Different blocks of microcontroller are microprocessor, memory, I.O. devices and peripheral devices.